The Nokia 8V 5G UW is one of the biggest phones in the market. The design is nice enough and it's comfortable in hands. You can also see a headphone jack. There's Google Assistant button on the left side of the phone that can summon the virtual assistant. The power button contains the phone's fingerprint sensor. HMD placed a single speaker on the bottom of the phone. It's really easy to cover the speaker up with your hand when you are holding the phone in a landscape orientation, like when you are playing a game and that can muffle the audio. This phone has a massive 6.81 inch FHD display. The screen size is very immersive whether you are playing games or watching video. It's an LCD panel but everything looks fine in scenes that are bright. On the rear you will find a quad camera setup. It features a 64 megapixel main camera and a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle shooter with a 120 degree field of view. Both the main and ultra wide shooters support super night mode for low light photography. There's also a 2 megapixel macro lens and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. The color in the Nokia photo is fairly rich. Detail is solid with the main camera but it often increases the contrast way too high and produces inaccurate colors. The ultra wide lens is good too. It delivers pictures with rich color and good dynamic range. The macro lens does a pretty good job picking up tiny details with great color. You can record 4K video at 60fps and the video quality is pretty good. On the front you will find a single 24 megapixel camera for selfie duties and it delivers good quality selfies. Nokia 8V 5G UW offers Snapdragon 765G chipset. The Snapdragon 765G isn't Qualcomm's most powerful chip but it can handle most of the things smartphone users throw at it and it's got an integrated X52 5G modem. It's also not as expensive as the Snapdragon 865 in the leading Android flagships, which means phone makers can keep the cost down. You can play most games without any lag or stutter. For day-to-day -day use, there won't be any problem executing some hardcore applications. HMD Global adds 6GB of RAM to help out the Snapdragon 765G, but only equips the phone with a 64GB of storage. You can add some extra storage, up to 1TB via a microSD card. HMD Global calls this phone Android 11 ready which is a nicer way of saying that the older Android 10 comes pre-installed on this phone. This device comes with 4500 mAh battery with 18W fast charging support. It comes with a 6.81 inch Full HD Plus screen with an aspect ratio of 20 by 9. That means the phone's screen is longer than most handsets. The design is similar to what we have seen from HMD Global's Nokia handsets in previous years with a metal edge and Gorilla Glass on the rear of the phone. It comes with a refracted light design that gives it a unique look rather than just a solid color. The fingerprint sensor is housed within the power button that sits on the side of the handset, allowing you to turn the phone on and unlock it with one press. 5G is the biggest feature here and this is the first 5G enabled phone from the company. There isn't a top-end chipset inside this phone and instead HMD Global is using Qualcomm Snapdragon 765 chipset inside here that allows for 5G connectivity but will not provide as impressive processing as phones that use the flagship Snapdragon 865. You will have the choice of either 6GB of RAM with 64GB of storage or 8GB of RAM with 128GB of storage. The rear camera on this device comes with a 64MP main camera as well as a 12MP ultrawide with an aperture of 2.2. There is also a 2MP depth sensor working alongside a 2MP macro camera. On the front of the phone, there is a 24MP selfie shooter. There is a new mode included called Action Cam Mode that is specifically designed to capture smooth video. It uses a higher frame rate than 60fps to improve the footage for fast moving subjects. The Nokia 8.3 5G is also capable of filming in 4K too. Pictures are sharp and vibrant, overall the photo quality is great and delivers good dynamic range. There's a 4500 mAh cell inside the phone with 18W fast charging support. That's quite large for a handset like this. Nokia 9 PureView smartphone was launched in February 2019. The phone comes with a 5.99 inch touchscreen display. This one is powered by an octa core Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor. It comes with 6GB of RAM. It is powered by a 3320mAh battery and supports wireless charging. 
As far as the cameras are concerned, the Nokia 9 PureView on the rear packs a 12 megapixel primary camera, a second 12 megapixel camera with an 1.82 aperture, and a third 12 megapixel camera with an 1.82 aperture, and a fourth 12 megapixel camera. There is a 12 megapixel camera on the front for selfies. You can record 4K videos at 30 fps. Nokia 9 PureView based on Android 9.0 Pi and packs 128 GB of inbuilt storage. It features an IP67 rating for dust and water protection. It was launched in midnight blue color. Nokia 7.2 will be launched in 2019. The phone comes with a 6.3 inch LCD touchscreen display with an aspect ratio of 19 by 9. It is powered by octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 14nm processor. It comes with 6GB of RAM. As far as the cameras are concerned, the Nokia 7.2 on the rear packs triple camera setup consisting of a 48MP main shooter and a 8MP ultra-wide lens along with a 5MP depth sensor. There is a 20MP camera on the front for selfies. This device is based on Android 9.0 Pi and packs 128GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded via microSD card up to 512GB. It is powered by a 3500mAh battery with 10W fast charging support. Nokia is using a 6.39 inches HD IPS LCD display. This particular display panel provides exceptional viewing angles and colors. However, Nokia could have used an FHD display like its market competitors. At the core of the Nokia 5.4 smartphone lies the integrated Snapdragon 662 chipset, which outperforms all of its predecessor. The 662 performed decently when it comes to handling everyday tasks. In addition, the Adreno 610 GPU ensure no problems when playing all casual games, as well as titles like PUBG Mobile Lite in medium configurations. Speaking of software, the Nokia 5.4 remains part of the Android 10, which is the main selling point of Nokia phones. The interface looks as an absolute Android stock, without ads or bloatware. Also, Nokia always makes sure of timely updates and security patches. As for RAM, you can buy 4GB or 6GB version depending on the type of use. On the other hand, the phone offers two options for internal storage, 64GB or 128GB. With the stock Android, RAM management is perfect. As for the camera setup, this device comes with a quad rear camera setup. The main 48MP snapper is now supported by three more auxiliary sensors. An ultra-wide 5MP sensor allows you to absorb more things in a frame. In addition, there are two 2MP sensors for both macro and depth purposes. Subjects appear sharp and vibrant as long as there is plenty of light available. Equipped with a light mode and LED flash, the device improves photos in low light, increasing brightness and clarity using exclusive post-processing methods. For videos, you can go up to 4K, which looks crystal clear, but there is no room for any stabilization. The 16 megapixel selfie camera takes impressive portraits with excellent blurred backgrounds. But in low light, there is a slight drop in quality and the photos look noisy and smooth. It comes with a 4000mAh battery that will last a day easily. Supplied with a 10W regular charger, battery refilling may not be fast enough and takes at least 2 hours to fully charge.